Hey guys, just trying to do a quick video on installing the uh, meter for your laser tube. Um, if you have one of these blue and white lasers, the 50 watts, they, they do not come with these gauges at all. Um, you can get them on eBay for like four to six bucks. There's a USA seller that has them for six bucks, free shipping. I got it in like three or four days. I'll put the link in the description. But if you own this blue and white laser, you need that gauge because you want to... You want to know what your laser tube is putting out. So if you're putting out uh, too many, like over 22, you're gonna um, you're gonna overdrive your tube and you're gonna shorten the life. Um, this way you can see you know what your settings are doing. Um, I usually don't go over 50, but even 50 can put you over 15. So um, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is just show you exactly how I'm hooking it up. There's a couple of videos out there, a couple. Of, uh, um, blogs, but nothing that really is shows exactly. There's some diagrams, but a lot of people don't know or don't understand how to read diagrams. Like they just don't know, you know. So I'm going to just give you the real simplest way um, to do this. I'm going to show you. So basically, you have two wires or two posts that come off of this meter. I already have them uh, pinned up and tied down and taped to protect them. Um, but you just have two. One of them has a negative sign. Take note of the negative sign on the wire that comes off of that negative post. From what I read, it's gonna is gonna is gonna feed right directly into the power supply, the PSU. So um, the other side is gonna come from the cathode. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on the cathode side of your laser, your laser tube, and you're gonna follow the wires. Some say it's yellow, some say it's black. Mine was black. I followed the wire all the way through, down. And right through the back, I found the wire here. I verified it went into here. I cut it. So all you're going to do is cut that wire. You're going to take the one wire, solder it or attach it to the wire on your meter. Um, take the negative post and you're going to go to the other wire. And then that wire is actually feeding into the PSU. So it's the top connection on my PSU. It could be different if you have a different power supply. I'm not sure. Just remember, you're using the cathode wire off the laser tube. So um, go to the cathode side, take that wire, follow it. Um, those two wire, or that wire is going to get cut, so those two wires are going to feed into your meter. Like I said, it's so simple. You're going to just solder two wires together, and you're done. This is You need it. You need this on there so you don't overdrive your tube. Um, if, you're, if you're struggling to get a lot of power to cut stuff, um, you know, you, you, you want to know what your tube is doing. Maybe it's, it's at the end of its life. So the meter will help you, uh, understand where, where you're at on that. Um, you should be around 12, you know, for normal stuff. So, um, they say 22 is, you know, too much. That's the max. You're going to overdrive it. And then also I've seen some guys, um, the popular YouTube channel that you guys know that he said that anything over 65% on your laser is the same. So if you run 65 or 85, it, the laser is still putting out the same. Because these 50-watt lasers are technically not 50 watts. Um, it says mine was 45 watts on the test, on the on the sticker and everything. Um, mine was manufactured in November of last year. Um, but these are nice little lasers. I really like it. I've had uh, really good success with setting it up, learning it. Um, but now it's time for this meter. And I don't want to wait too long because I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. So... The cathode wire off your laser, follow it through, and um, you're going to cut that wire, split it in half, wire the two wires from the meter into it. Now, if you if you turn it on and you 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 do a pulse on your on your laser and the meter goes negative, well then you got the wires mixed up. Just reverse it. Um, it I, from what I read, the negative on the post goes to the PSU. So if it doesn't, swap them. That's all you got to do. Um, other than that, that's it guys. I'm gonna I'm not gonna drill a whole amount of mine in my case just because I don't want the manufacturer saying I did something wrong when I was doing that. Plus, you know, I, I don't want to get shavings in here and I know I can cover it, but you know, I work I have a CNC router and I work with dust and uh you know I don't want that one little chip to get in there and just mess everything up. So I'm not gonna even bother putting it on the top or anything. I'm just gonna make a box and I'm gonna set it on top. It's gonna be nice because it's gonna have my water gauge in there too. So um, but that's it, guys. This meter has two wires. You cut the cathode wire, attach those together, you're done. And just make sure that they're separate, they're not grounded and everything. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hope it helps you.